Welcome back to another Joy Toy Review. In this review, we're going to be reviewing the new 3-pack from the Battle from the Stars. The Second Legion Interstellar Trooper Set. Here at the front of the packaging, we can see the three characters in this set. Here at the bottom left, we have Second ST, which is, should be an ND Legion Interstellar Trooper. Maybe should be Troopers. This is all typo there. Some very nice artwork. I do love the artwork on these packages. They do very well. Um, you can see the three characters here. This is a new um, configuration and new parts that they have coming out. And from now on, upcoming sets in the near future. Top of the package shows the Battle for the Stars. We have the Bottles for the Stars logo. Over here we have the warning, checking hazards, small parts. Not for children under three years of age. These are recommended for ages 15 and up. On the bottom of the package, it says Interstellar Trooper. Here on the left, we have product parameters. Feel free to pause it if you need to read any of this information. Company information in the middle, UPC, and some warnings there. On the side of the packaging, we do have their logo. The Interstellar Federation is their team. On the other side, we have a toy toy with that really cool space background. And the back of the packaging, here we can see the entire set of weapons that we get. But we'll be reviewing all those here shortly. So let's go and get these guys out of the package. You can open and remove your figures, play with them, and put them back if you wish. The box. These are just two clam shells sandwiched together. You have your figure tray. You have a product insert. And you have your weapons tray. We will be taking a look at the figures first after we take a look at the product insert. Here's a product insert. Feel free to pause those as you see fit. This is some precautions on how to take your figures apart. And the front is basically just the figures and their accessories being shown. Here's our figure tray. We just gotta take off the lid and we have access to our figures. We will start with the center figure, which I'm assuming is the leader or the commander. He looks amazing. I do love the new head sculpt. He does have a mohawk, which I am a big fan of mohawk characters. He has goatee and a beard there. He has number two on his chest. He has that logo that was on the side of the box on his chest and on his thigh pad. And he has O2 here. I think they should have followed through with the two instead of the O2 here. It would make would be more um, make more sense. Down here at the bottom, he has these cool, cool skulls with you know some wings behind it. All the armor is removable, but if you do that, you're like with these big clunky feet. It kind of will make it look kind of awkward, I guess. The armor is pretty much the same for all three figures, except for um, the commander here. We're going to call him the commander. And uh, he has the white instead of the yellow. And then the troopers have this section right here that's white. And his is yellow. That's the only difference. Here's the side of the figure. The back of the figure is very cool. He has these thrusters on his back here, and he does have some beyond his calf muscles there. And then we have some decals pointing down saying caution. I'm not sure if these are long range or short range thrusters. These are probably for the lift, and these are probably for your direction. And, you know, so it's up to you how you want to um, portray your characters. Because they are, they have no identification or th story behind the characters as of yet. Now the chest piece, the shoulder pieces, the, all the back, these back thrusters are all one piece. It's all is all part of his vest. So there's no it's only going to hinder your articulation. So let's take a look at the articulation. He has a ball joint ahead, which you would get more if you remove the armor. But with the armor on, it goes pretty much that far. 
it goes down up just a tad bit. So as long as you raise up this to the side, which they only go so far until they hit these pads. They will go higher if you remove the armor. The shoulders are on a ball joint and they will rotate 360. But it only until it hits the pad with the armor on. He does have bendable elbows. We'll get your, you know, pretty close to 90, if not 90 degrees, due to the, uh, even with the thicker armor on. He does have very cool padded gloves. He has silver here and silver on his fingers. And they do rotate up and down on both hands. This hand usually would go in and out. It does not. It's just pretty much the same wrist design. He does have a nap crunch and a waist swivel. Okay, so his sitting is definitely going to be hindered because of the thigh pad here is going to hit the crotch piece and it's going to limit your ability to seat your figures in any position you want for like sitting. That's pretty much going to be it. So that's going to kind of be a hit and miss there for that. They wrote, He has a thigh rotation here so you can do that. He does have been double jointed knees still. So that's what you're going to get with that armor on. His feet do pivot down. They do pivot up and they do rotate side to side until it hits that piece right there. These are new pieces that Joy Toy, Toy has developed for their upcoming figures. Um, here's a new gun holster so to speak we'll talk about that soon and these thigh pads we probably want to see these rehash in the cavalry set that's coming up here shortly it's early this year so we'll take a look at the other characters first off i'm just going to show you the distance difference between the two and it's very small so you see the shoulder pad there painted white on the other two characters and this is yellow and his is white that's it everything else is exactly the same I will not go through the articulation for each figure uh, they are the same so there'd be no reason to do that they do have a very nice painted silver thrusters with a red inside on both sets so we'll, we'll take a look at his head sculpt here. Try to get a nice picture up close. There we go. So this character does have like the blonde hair. Um, they use the same shade as yellow as they use for the armor and it kind of clashes with it. Um, this figure kind of has a pudgy face. It's like a fat duke maybe. But it's a new head sculpt. So very nice figure. These are, this is a very nice set. Let's get a look at the, th the third figure here. This character has sh shaved head all the way around. He has dark hair just on top of his head and down the back. He does have some scarring on his face here on his, both sides of his face. And he has some you know, wrinkles in his forehead. Basically, here's it's a nice head sculpt. Kind of shows you, you know, he's an, an older uh, man. So, compared to the younger two, you would think he'd be the leader, but he's kind of not. He doesn't look like he's. You know, always can switch the head if you like, but the young guy is the leader. So, that's how they fare together. Yeah, see, so he even looks younger. So here is your third figure. Let's 
see if we can get it better. Look at that. It is basically the same figure, just different head sculpt. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the accessory that they come with. Um, just got to take those off that also. And we'll start with the helmets. So, you're probably wondering if these guys are going to fit our characters. Let's hope they do. We have the, the dirty white helmet with the goldish copperish color uh, screen there let's see what we can do here then we have some silver here we have red wires some black devices on each side and does have a very cool logo on the back of his helmet that's pretty small that's pretty awesome so this is his helmet and I'm happy to report they fit beautifully They do not fall off. It's perfect helmet size for these guys. Now the other two helmets are the same. I'm gonna grab them real quick. Let's see here. It's done out of more of a gun metal. It does have a cool logo on a bag. It has that gold visor, it has the red wire on the side, there's black devices. Very cool. So let's take a look at these characters. And the helmets fit beautifully on all the characters, not just one. We will take a close look at the characters in one second with their helmets on. Just want to go ahead and get them on, show you guys how they fit. Okay, so let me grab, let me grab this guy and we will compare them kind of wish I had some yellow on the helmet make it more unison let's bring this guy in and that's how they look Okay, so next accessory we're going to look at is they come with a shield. I really wish they used a PLA shield instead of this. This is kind of small in my opinion, but it does have a warning air on the top and this has the logo, their logo here on the front. It's a silver with a heavy black wash on it. Here's the back of it. Don't worry, the handle does come with the set. It's just in the baggie. So you just have to assemble that by pushing it on. It's not that bad. Let's see here what else we can get. So the, this is a new accessory for Joy Toy. This is Battle Axe. Got a silver axe head. Very nicely sculpted. Black handle. And a hole in the bottom of the handle there. And I'm assuming it goes to this character. Let me get it inside this behind the camera so I can slip in his hand. It's hard to see. Here's the camera. He holds it really nice and tight. I'm sure you can get that lumberjack look if you worked on it enough. Very cool, right? Um, they do come with I'm going to dump these out, it makes it easier. They come with uh, three of these guns. There we go. Kind of unique gun. The clip kind of is combined with a drum ammo clip. So it's kind of like a unique design from Joy Toy. 
It's a black gun with some tan paint and a red barrel. And you do get three of those. So. It's definitely a, a, it's a new gun. Here is the other gun they come with. Some black here on the stock and a clip. And some really dark gray here. Some silver on the stock and scope. And you do get two of these. Should have came with an extra one. Should be three in my opinion. But that's what you get. Lastly you get this baggie. Let's go ahead and zoom out of there real quick. They dump these out. So we can see first of all, let's see what we get in here. Looks like we get this really cool knife. This is a new accessory for Joy Toy. Nicely sculpted blade. Beveled edges, has some detail here. Has a black handle. That's a wicked weapon. And, oh, so there's another knife. A handle guard here with spikes on it, black handle, and a cool blade design. So you get, I guess you get a blade for each character. Makes more sense if we had three of those other guns, right? There we go. Okay, you get three pistols. They look, they're kind of thick and kind of large from what we're used to here. And so, I don't think these things are going to fit in those holsters. And you do get close fisted hands. And they do have those ring. Um, I don't know if there's finger ring things, there's padded gloves on top, some silver here on the top. It looks like you get four. That's all the four of those. And here is the handle for the shield. It just basically slips over the top here like so. It's kind of tight. I'm not going to slip it all the way on. But you guys get the idea. And it looks like you get a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and oh, that's weird. Like these things are small. They have to be ankle joints. Three of those, which I'll tell you, I'm betting in a QE, a manufacturing process, they probably realize that the joints are probably the weakest, weakest part of this team. That's my best guess. I'm going to leave his helmet on, for example. So, there they are, looking all good together. This is a really cool set. There's no issues. There's a little bit of stiffness in this set. So, um, I wouldn't worry about too much about the actual joints. They feel strong. I'd still take the and heat them a little bit so you can uh, be safe. We don't break our figures. But overall, very nice set. I recommend it. Now what's really cool about this, if you have any of the toy toy figures, you have this guy. He looks really good with this set. Also, you have the set. It's, it's a tough set. To, I don't recommend this set, but I have. I do have a review for these if you want to check it out. And you can find out why I don't recommend this set. 
but they do go very nicely with these. You can get yourself a nice theme going. Hopefully it doesn't fall with these guys. Because you have the yellow and the black throughout. They look really good together there. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the comparisons because I know some people are asking about like, oh boy, um, the sizes, they're too big or too bulky. So up close here, you can see they're not bigger than your normal short way figures. They pretty much fit. There is some bulk, more, a little more bulkiness to them, as expected. I mean, these stick out. The feet are larger, as you can see, on these guys. But that's appropriate for the, the theme of the character and the armor. But for size-wise, they can fit perfectly right with your other Joy Toy figures. Here he is with the female character from Joy Toy. Looks great. Here he is with the G.I. Joe figure. Here they are with the Baroness. Here he is with a Vitruvian Hacks. Here he is with the Awakening figure. Here he is with a female Awakening figure. For all these figures I'm doing comparisons with, I do have reviews up for all these. So I highly recommend you check them out. And here is the last of the Awakening figures that they have currently made. You can see how well they scale perfectly with those guys and how they scale with their counterparts. These guys are pretty awesome. Highly recommend them. At least they end up his interstellar style I recommend. This guy's really cool. He's like the bounty hunter. Really nice figure. Have a review for that if you're interested. The Ghost Squad is up to you. I definitely check out reviews for those if you guys want to buy those. Um, fortunately, I bought mine and I found out the hard way. But I still have them. I do. They're okay. Just, you know, not the greatest figures. Um. The figures are kind of bigger for your, you do have the crazy reload SUV. Um, you can stand them in the back of the truck. You're not going to be able to, you can get them inside the front of the truck. I've already tried. They ain't going to sit on the seat. They're not going to look good inside. But you put them down through the top of the cab, you can get them in, door shut, all good. So, they do fit, not, not, not pretty. So... These are awesome. I do. They're about to see cost wise. They're. Hmm, I think it's anywhere from $69.99 to $79.99. I think I see them on Locker Toys for like $56. But you have to pay the shipping from China, which is three days, which is, if you just bought those, 15 bucks. So you're looking about, you know. Close to about the same, a little few dollars cheaper. So, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and for our first short term goal. And if you have already subscribed, I want to thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it for support. 
and happy hunting. And we will definitely see you in our next review. Thank you for watching.